Hi there and welcome to Mr. Van's tutorial on how we're going to be using career cruising. Um, this lesson is just to go over the basics of how to get set up and how to start using it and show you a couple things in there. Um, so yeah, just to begin, you can see we're at Google here. It's uh, the World Cup, clearly. Um, and I'm going to just type in, this is the easiest way to get to it, career cruising, careercruising.com. Now, you can see I've already got it in here. The login for all of us students is Spectrum, and the password is Community, as in Spectrum Community School. We can log in. All of the school uses one login, and then we each have our own plans within that. So there's kind of a login within a login system. Um, as, your, uh, as your sheet will show you, that I've made up for you, um, over here is where we want to first uh, create a plan. I'm going to put in my information here. And I'm going to pretend to be grade 11, like all of you guys. And I'm going to put in my school district email. And um, I was saying to you on the on the sheet I made up that uh, although I'm, I'm open to you going with what you want, but it's probably best to go with a, a username that's like uh, first initial last name. So that's what I'm going to do for mine. And set a password the way you like it. And we're going to go create my plan, and save this password, uh, read it, and submit. Okay, And from that point, we're basically um, locked into the site now, uh, and you'll get an email uh, kind of giving you the information um, and welcoming you to the site. Um, there's a couple of things I really want to uh, point out because we're going to be using them in uh, today's class and tomorrow's class. The first one is that you're going to have on the left-hand side here, um, some really helpful links. So you'll notice one that says like explore my interests. Okay. In order to get the most out of these, you need to complete uh, these these assessments that um, pull information, kind of like what we were using with Type Focus. Uh, but this is um, career cruising based. Um, there's one here for uh, matchmaker and my skills. So the sorts of things that you're talented at and do well at. Um, an example might be good with my hands, and the matchmaker would ask you questions that would determine things like that and would match jobs for you. Um, the other one over here is the learning styles inventory. And as you can see, this one's uh, discover how you learn and retain information and find tips on how to improve your study habits to suit your learning style. We're not going to spend so much time with this one. This one's going to be the one that we're going to be using um, over the next couple days. Okay, the next one is that we've got learn about careers. And I just want to point out that there's a couple ways you can get to them. Um, they break them down by index, index, right? So actual jobs. So if I hit F, I'm probably going to find firefighter within here. Let's see if we do. There it is, firefighter. And you'll notice that it's got some check boxes. Okay, and that tells you the level of education you need. So that can be really important. Firefighter in particular says that you need to have um, high school or Community college technical training, although anyone who knows who's tried to become a firefighter in Victoria will tell you you need quite a bit of extra experience. You can also search by school subject, so you can find things under what they kind of fall under. If I look under computers, I'm going to find all sorts of different IT-like jobs. There's also the BC focus areas, and these are linked in with the uh, prescribed learning outcomes that are really helpful um, for being able to um, determine based on much broader categories not limiting yourself. And then there's also the search by cluster, which is much more tied into um, post-secondary categories. Finally, you can also just do keyword search. So if I type in police officer, I'll find it. And you can notice it also finds up jobs that are very similar but have different names. So we also see detective under this one. If I open up police officer, you'll get a sense of uh, some of the stuff that's really um, useful and you're going to be using within this. Um, so just to give a qu quick overview, first of all you can see there's the at a glance, which is the page we're already on. It'll have pictures and it'll have some basic information, the sorts of things you're expected to be able to do and what the workplace is like. You can also go to job description. Okay, and you'll notice that there's an interview here and those interviews line up with the people on the side here. And you can use those interviews to kind of um, get some more information about uh, what it's like actually from someone on the job site. Um, there's usually two interviews for all of the positions that are within career cruising. Uh, working conditions, earning, this is going to be an important one for the sort of one you're going to be, you're going to be doing. There's the education, career path, um, a lot of them are kind of um, uh, self-explanatory. The beauty of it is you can save all these to your plan. So you can see that one's now start, and if I ever go back to my name, 
I'll be able to see saved careers. And sure enough, there it is. We're going to do other work in uh, other weeks related to schools um, and programs, but notice that there's the careers right there. Okay. As I go back, and I'm just going to get out a police officer here. As I go back to the main site here, um, which you can also just get to by typing in careercruising.com again into the top bar. Um, there are some other things on here, um, but we're not going to spend too much time on them. If you get extra time, make sure you chat with Mr. Van about some of the sorts of things that go along with that. Have fun. Check them out. There's uh, tons you can do, but remember the first thing you want to do is use the Explore My Interests and check out the matchmaker. All right. Thanks very much for uh, watching. Hope it was helpful.